Well, I guess we're going to talk about Rapid Core finally. Uh, this is the final official map added to Half-Life. Uh, the thing about this one, it was, a, it was actually not designed by Valve, but someone named Michael Schultz. Uh, I think Michael Wolf Schultz, uh, full name. And um, it was for a mapping contest that Planet Half-Life held, uh, I don't know, uh, like late 2000, early 2001. Um, after the, this is the, obviously the winner of the contest, and it was added to Half-Life proper February 2001. Um, so it's interesting because unlike all other maps, official maps in the game that were either there on launch or added shortly afterwards within two or three months of the game, basically, uh, maybe four, I can't remember, I'm bad with my months all of a sudden, um, this one was added in way, way, way after the fact. It's also worth pointing out that Michael Schultz, this was even the last time that he'd, um, design a map for a contest for the Half-Life series and win. Uh, I think there's a map in Half-Life 2 called Powerhouse that he designed and lo and behold, he got it in. So, good for him. Um, anyway, um, as you'll see, I love the aesthetic of this map. Um, it's got, you know, kind of like Datacore, but a lot more stylized. I mean, it's graphically a little bit more intricate just because of the fact that, you know, this game wasn't so new anymore. So we'll start by going to from this area here. None of these doors work as far as I'm aware. Or that one does. I've literally never pressed that button until now. So, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, you got a healing station there. Um, you, what, something here is you got these little things where you can... You'll get hurt if you go in these like little liquid things, but there's items in here. Uh, I probably pointed this out in the last time I like when I uh, made a video on it last summer. It's kind of pointless, but you know it doesn't really hurt the map necessarily. Got the revolver, which is a freaking amazing weapon here because of the how long these hallways are. So you'll have good snipers just waiting here, waiting for like their prey to show up. If you go into this room, you got some nice uh, ammo there. Now I used to think you needed the long jump to get this rocket launcher, but uh, you can actually, with the well-timed jump, which will probably take me a billion tries to get. I've done it, so I know it's possible. It is entirely possible to, like, jump at the last second and reach that. I, it, it, it is it, it. It is it. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. I swear, I've done it. You can a- Okay, watch. Like I said, this is gonna take me a billion chances. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like a few more shots, and if I can't do it, it it's impo it's possible. You actually, it's just really, really hard. But it, you can actually jump that without the long jump. I, I'm not even sure if that's uh, Michael intended that to be possible. Um. Anyway, you got the shotgun here, and you got me being a stubborn idiot. Get out of the way, Batman. I'm I mean, Spider-Man. I mean. Clark Kent? Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I give up. Anyway, disregarding that, um, if you come this way, you got another little open area. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite, like, when I said I like this map visually, this shit right here with the glasses and, like, the curved, like, little thing here is so good. I mean, obviously, like I said, it's a little bit later in the game's life, so, you know, that he can, um, you can push the graphics a little bit more in the multiplayer maps without, like, worry of performance issues. And that's really what's going on here. We'll get to this little area in a second, but if you go this way, um, you'll come back uh, to this little area here. And there's a lot of interesting stuff to unpack here. You got this machine, which as far as I'm aware, does absolutely nothing. But if you do go up on each side, you got some charges, which is always a happy time guaranteed for all. Uh, and you got some more over here. And if you time that jump, which I can do, see, I'm, I'm good jumping, um, you can get some more charges. That their planet Half-Life, which sadly doesn't exist anymore as far as I'm aware. Now, this happens. If you jump up here, it's really low grav. And this is uh, the map's gauze here. Which obviously could be a little bit of a problem if the server's full enough and people see you coming in here. Because everybody's probably going to be rushing in to try to, like, you know, grab that. And there'll be a little bit of a fight. I don't know why I felt like shooting that guy. Alright, so we wrapped around. It's a little bit, like, circular. As you can see. I mean, if you really, really want that rocket launcher, too... You can use this the God's Jump, which I'll go grab over there. After I make one more last attempt. Uh, what? Do it! You guys... Piss off. Hold on. I think I've unpacked it. I think you might need to strafe. Everybody needs to get out of my way! Out! 
out my children! I swear to fucking god, everybody move! I don't want you here! Go! Out! You've overstayed your welcome! Christ. Alright. Well, giving up on that for now, um, there's a center area here. Which, you know, is a quick way to get through the different areas. You can get up to that cursed room from there. If you take this hallway. It's not quite circular there, is it? Well, it is, but, you know, these narrow hallways, if you try to, like, you know, take the, like, a circle and walk around, they don't actually work like that. You had to go to this hallway eventually. But it's still a roughly circular map. So, yeah, sir, in this area, you get some ammo for the, you know, grenade, like, you know, uh, SMG grenades, always a good time. Get some of the revolver ammo, get healed up, and then you'll lead into the center room here, which is where you can get the long jump. You can also go into another one of these pointless side areas. Get some good old grenades in the long jump, but I'm not grabbing the long jump because I swear on Poseidon's grave that I'm going to fucking do that goddamn jump. The real irony is, is that when I tested this, the very first time I attempted this, like, when I was just, like, playing this map last night casually, or whenever, how many nights ago, I did it on my first go. And, of course, now I can't fucking do it worth it for the life of me. Engineer, you suck, cuck! I am so irrationally upset that I'm not being able to make this jump. Because I know it's possible. I've wasted, like, fucking three minutes on this now. I guarantee it. I mean, if you could just jump from that window here, I'd be, like, fucking so blue-balled. Yes! I fucking did it! Hoorah, America! So, yeah, that's... You gotta just... I think I... You gotta do it at a weird angle. Hold on. Okay! Oh, that's what I must have done. You had to build... Okay, crap. You gotta... Like I said, strafing. You gotta strafe jump here. My god! Fuck off! That was so not worth the effort. But that's how you do that. I give up. Eight players is good here. Although, even though I'm obsessed with the number eight, uh, I will actually say you can actually play... I would recommend 16 players for most people. I'm just obsessed with the number eight, so yeah. This is it. This is my chance for redemption. I was... The bots are licking my dick tonight, and not in a sexually active way. I don't know. I know that doesn't make any sense, but every single time I try to get in the zone and try to get my, like, favorite rocket launcher that my mother gifted me... On Christmas evening. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, if you guys jump up there, you can get a charger. Also, I've just noticed that for the first time. It's almost like I've never played this map before, but trust me, I have. I wouldn't be surprised there's actually quite a few secrets of this map I just don't know anything about. It just, it seems like that. Like, let's see here. Ah, there you go. See? If you guys up here, you can get some grenade ammo. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. The problem is, is that usually I've played this map a lot, but usually when I'm playing it, it's usually on a, it was on a crowded server. So I wouldn't have any time to try to figure all this out. And like, you know, I'm actually kind of, admittingly, I, I'm kind of rushing into this video tonight. It's just because, you know, I've been so busy lately again. I just, I had to get it done. And it's like, it's a shame because this map deserves better, but you know, I'm an idiot. And when you're dealing with me and idiots like me, then you know, sometimes things don't always work out too well. I apologize. Come on! Yes! 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 Oh my god, my belly button is gushing joy! Eat it! I feel like my shotgun aim has slightly improved over the last month or so. I mean, I used to be really good with the shotgun in pretty much every game. In fact, when you know, the shotgun used to be the weapon I would always insist on using, and to some degree it still is. I mean, not just in this game, but like in any game that gave me the option of like a choice of weapons. And even in, like, you know, games where everyone said it sucks. That's probably why I wasn't ever good at Counter-Strike, because I insisted on using the shotgun at least 40% of the time. Oh, well. It's my choice, my play style. I do things my own way. So, yeah, Rapid Core. Despite my difficulties in acquiring Rocket Launcher, still a quality map. Uh, highly recommended. So, hey, look at that. We finally did it. It's, like, you know, something I didn't ever accomplish last summer. I actually talked about every official Half-Life map in this series. Hooray! So, uh, hey, that must mean it's time for custom maps, right? <laughs> no, because there's the PS2 map, silly.